Hello everyone, this is your girl Giovanni reporting live from my house. <laughs> um, I want to start off by saying that I am a few weeks late in reporting to you guys what has been going on with my health. The last video I made was actually probably three or four weeks ago, possibly a month ago. Um, in regards to my sinuses and all that other stuff that I was supposed to have done. Well, my nose is super watery right now only because I just got back from the doctor's office and she took it upon herself to give me a allergy shot. Hmm. <laughs> my poppy is right behind the camera. So it's kind of weird, but I'm going to try to keep it as natural as possible. Dorman, is that okay? Fine. He said that's fine. <laughs> anyway, um, so a lot of changes. Um, one, I have gained weight. Um, as you guys know, let me just not get all over the place with this one because this I should be a little bit more relaxed with this one because things have been taken care of. Um, as you guys know, I've been gaining weight. You guys can tell from my face, whatever. I'll stand up for you guys here in a second. But since the last video, I was, I've had something going on with me and my sinuses since March has not been taken care of. I went to several physicians. I keep getting told different things. Finally, I decided to, um, go to a doctor, uh, which is a town away. She's from Colombia. I'm not going to say her name. And, um, she, I, you know, I spoke to her about my past. Um, and when I was there, I initially went just because, um, we were speaking about hormones. She was a doctor in Bogota, Colombia, and she takes care of the majority of the Hispanic or Latino population in this area. Um, very well known. And apparently upon my arrival, I saw nothing but Spanish speakers. Luckily, you know, when I got there, they started to try to speak English to me. I'm not sure what it is. People think that I don't speak Spanish, but I do. It's my first language. Anyway, they had me fill out the initial form. I went there and then I spoke, you know, okay, it said the problems or, you know, medical issues having. And then I put T, um, HRT, which is hormone therapy. And then I also put um, sinusitis. Well, as soon as she took me back, you know, I didn't think she was going to discuss that with me. Um, the first things first, she saw me and she said, you need to lose weight. So she put me on a strict diet. Okay, fine. I'm going to have to stick to that. And that's going to be going to be part of my updates as well. Um, she weighed me today. A lot of girls are not comfortable sharing their weight, but I'm going to be and I have to be because it's not only for me, it's for you guys to understand and know what I'm going through at all times. And I'm going to be honest with you guys. I was weighed in at 309 pounds today. So it affects me in a way, in many ways. Um, being that I'm 6'2", I'm not only big, I'm also tall. Um, and I'll show you guys what I look like. Um, not It's not only me anymore. I have a fiancé. Um, and, it you know, for my comfort and his comfort... The doctor immediately said, so, hormones, but you're this big. She was really honest and upfront, and I like that about her. She said the only way you're going to appear more feminine, even through a silhouette, even through, through silhouette, is losing some of the weight. Because you can be tall, but aspects of femininity are, you know, thin, or at least in shape. Because um, the hormones are not gonna do do me any do me much good besides, um, you know, distribute fat. But when I'm already big, <laughs> um, they're gonna just add on to what I already have. So she put me on a strict diet, and she did give me my hormones. Um, I went to the I went to CVS pharmacy here in my area. They did not have the um, the estrogen until tomorrow so she's um so they said I can go pick it up luckily I have insurance now and my insurance covers all of my hormones my hormones and the syringes and everything 
which took me for a surprise because I was like, oh, I'm going from no insurance to having to pay out of pocket to the reason why I kind of sort of left hormones in the first place because labs are expensive. She, um, she spoke to me. She asked me a few more times, you know, why not just dress as you are because you're already unisex in a way. Why not stay contempt where you are? And I told her I was already on hormones. My doctor is in Chicago. Um, and the reason I didn't go see him was because I got, when I stopped taking the hormones just like that in March, because I was scared because of my side effects. Two, it's in Chicago. And three, the labs were expensive. I couldn't afford to even get labs to take to him. And she agreed. That makes sense. And she, um, she told me, you know, okay, well, if that's what you want, then that's what you're going to get. But I just have to do one thing for her and that's lose some weight. So yeah, she put me on my hormones and I'm going to be on 20 milligrams twice a week or 20 milligrams. Every, hmm? No, 20. It's a 40, I, it's 20 milligrams every two weeks which is five mls every two weeks in the syringe my nose is watering so she immediately um so she gave me my um so it's going to be again the um estrogen oil valerate and it's going to be 20 milligrams every two weeks along with uh spironolactone uh to 100 milligrams in the morning and 100 at night equaling or e yeah equaling uh 200 milligrams daily and she took me away from pop, fried foods, all that crap, um, which I think is from my own peace of mind and from my fiance's. Uh, she did say that I was borderline um, high blood pressure. So the first things first, she said, do what you have to do and lose that weight. So at 309 is where I'm starting. Today I started my um, weight loss journey as long as my as well as my transition journey, um, and I'm excited. I did not expect my insurance to cover it, and it did. Um, and it covered everything. <laughs> uh, I'm excited about that. Um, I'm also ex excited about losing the weight, and I'm also I mean I'm just excited. I'm excited also because going in she gave me the allergy shot today. She said, have you had an allergy shot? I said, yeah, because I was scared. As you guys know from my last video, I was freaked out um, because I didn't know what I had, this and this and that. I was, even in that last video, I think I was in a little bit of pressure on my left side of my face. Right now, all that water is coming down, honey. She gave me an allergy shot. She was like, have you had an allergy shot? And I was like, no. She was like, did, you, did they give you Flonase? I said, yeah, they gave me a nasal spray and... Um, some amoxicillin and things like that, but it only diverted the symptoms for a little bit, only because I haven't been taking the Flonase every day. Um, because my sign, it wasn't doing very much for me. And so she, she went to the back, took five minutes, came back with a, a syringe and she was like, oh, okay. I was like, she was like, this is going to be an allergy shot. She gave it to me and I shit you not, my nose has been watering. It's 4.15 now in the afternoon. Uh, October 5th, 2015. So, um, what time did she get my shot, Poppy? 11? Around 11 this morning today, she gave me that shot, and it, I just felt everything drain. All of this, just, I felt like it was just draining down the back of my throat. My throat is now irritated and a little dry, but because I have a lot of drainage back there. And, um, it's watery, 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 and watery. And she said that's going to be good for whatever allergies there may be in the air and for myself or at you know varies usually about six months is when they um recommend is how long that allergy shot will last which is almost like the flonase but it's long lasting and it's going to be in my body for a long time which i think is awesome so she checked me out she did say i was congested whatnot so she gave me that shot and bam my nose has been watering my head that pressure is down mm, i feel good um, so let's see how long that keeps up. And besides that, um, I have not, t I've already taken my, as soon as I went, you know, as soon as I left, I went and filled my, my, uh, prescriptions and I took my, my hundred milligrams already for the morning 
and then I'm gonna take my another hundred at night. I already have a membership at Planet Fitness, so I'm of course gonna just hit that and I'm gonna hit it hard at least, you know. Hopefully losing some weight I have a little bit more energy. You guys know I am a hairstylist, so I'm on my feet all day. At the end of the day I don't even wanna stand. But it's for my own good. Um what else? What else? What else? So yeah, I'm just updating you guys. Everything is going good besides that. Mm. And I'm going to stand up for you guys and show you guys what I'm looking like now. Okay, this is the front. You can't really see much because I'm wearing a black shirt. But I'll turn this way. And I feel like these shrunk a lot from the last time you guys see me. Um, ish. They're still there. I'm not wearing a bra. They're still there. They're just saggy. <laughs> And hair has grown back. Um, I still have my tattoo. Um, hairy as ever. And this is my face. This is my butt. <laughs> I'm not trying to stick it out too much. But it has fallen some. It was a little more fuller. And... I cut hair, so I might, I'm expecting to have a little bit of veins in my arms, but not they're not really that much. Oh, my nose is watering so much. I'm sorry, um, <laughs> but that's what I look like. Um, and because of my weight, my bra size went up. I gained weight. Uh, the girls are telling me to, you know, oh my God, my nose is watering. My um because of my bra size, you know, because of my weight, my bra size did go up. But um hopefully when I lose weight it might I mean after my you know, as long as I've been on hormones, my um the boobs shouldn't be or the breasts to be more more um specific. Thank you, Puffy. Um they shouldn't be as you know, it shouldn't shrink because that's one of the things that's not reversible, and they haven't. They're just I just haven't worn a bra. My self esteem has been down, stressing all these changes, as you guys can tell. Um, I did shave both of my eyebrows off just recently, and they just grew back. Um, they're a little patchy, <laughs> so I've been filling them in for work. Luckily, I'm a hairstylist, so I can go in full drag. Um, and yeah, I am excited yet nervous because <laughs> I'm on hormones again and so I I'm taking that upon myself you know to give you guys a little bit more of me I didn't shave this morning so I still have a little bit of stubble oh wow so this is a day's worth and my hair is down to my shoulders a little bit past my shoulders I have a man bun the side shaved um, I need to clean that up too I'm thinking about shaving it all off and letting it all grow out evenly just because I feel like this haircut you have to keep up with it look at all those little hair sticking out on the side you know you have to keep up with this haircut so much and I need a full head of hair to feminize me I can always wear a wig if need be and it's almost winter time so what better time of year than to wear a wig than in the winter excuse me I just burped so I'm, I'm on a new diet, I'm weighing 309 pounds, I started my, my um, I'm going to start my estrogen tomorrow, God willing, My I'm going to train my fiance on how to give me that. It's, I think it's easier to, for have, to have someone give it to you in the behind than giving it to yourself in the leg. I hate giving myself the damn shot, but I, I had to do it, I had to do it, so stay tuned. Um, and hopefully you guys will see more of me here soon. I'm going to, like I said, this is going to push me to see you guys at least every week. Um, I've been feeling like crap until today. As you can see my nose as my face must be emptying <laughs> and I'll see you guys here or I'll see you guys here soon in a week, um, with the update or should I make it every two weeks? We'll see. All right. I love you guys. Take care and I'll see you guys back soon in a week, in a week.